2011 Honda Pilot. So the issue that I got going on with this car is that when I start it up, engine's pretty quiet, runs pretty smooth, and when it warms up, I get this annoying ticking, not a knocking sound, but annoying ticking sound. Um, I can't illustrate that now because, well, the engine is cold, it's early in the morning. But what I'll do is I'll put a link to the website with the information I'm about to share, and they also have a video clip of the sound, which will kind of help you hone in on whether you need to do this repair or not. So typically with a ticking sound, I have found that when it's a valve adjustment, whether the engine is cold or not, it's going to make that sound all the time. And this is only doing it when it warms up. Um, oil pressure is good, compression is good. Now the number one diagnosis for this type of noise that I hear all the time is the timing belt tensioner. Timing belt and everything has been done on this vehicle. so. I know it's not that. The only other issue is, is going to be something coming at the top end of the engine. I did take a stethoscope and I kind of just put in just to listen for where the sound's coming from. Um, I checked the bottom end with the oil pan, transmission, everything else, and I ruled it out to the cylinder heads is what's making that noise. So scouring around the whole internet, I actually found a technical service bulletin that actually fits this uh, issue that I got going on. So I'll post a link to this uh, website in the video, but pretty much, I don't know how well the camera is gonna capture it. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna play it from the internet, but it pretty much sounds like this. We'll see how well it captures it. And that's what mine sounds like when it's warmed up and it's running. So looking at the service built bulletin, uh, the symptom, this one is from Honda and the number is, let's scroll this up. So the service bulletin from Honda is 08-017, November 23rd, 2011. Engine knocks or ticks at idle. And the vehicles affected by it pretty much are any Honda's V6, Accord, Cross Tours, all the pilots, two-wheel drive, whatever, all that stuff. So now the symptom is the engine knocks or ticks out idle. The noise is usually more noticeable when the engine is warm. That's what I'm having. Probable cause, the rocker shaft has excessive clearance, which causes the rocker shaft to rotate and make noise, which kind of makes sense. Now going through this, they talk about how to fix it, what you need to do, and no parts required, well, except for the fact that you may have to change your valve cover gasket, depending how recent you've done the job and or the intake, depending on how um, how non-aggressive you are in taking things apart. So now on a side note on it, it kind of tells you that the bridge is designed to crush around the rocker shaft. So when torquing the bolts, it may initially feel like the bolt is stripped. This is normal. Continue torquing the bolts until the appropriate torque value is reached. Do not replace the bolt, the bridge, or the head. So all you're doing is, is adding more torque to seat it better. So what they want you to do is loosen it and they have the torque sequence to it. And we'll go over it on the vehicle, tighten it to 21 foot pounds and then loosen it again, which that's kind of interesting too. And then retighten it to 18 foot pounds. So I think the whole point of it is that it's to crush the kind of seal and just kind of let it sit better. So, all right, so what we're going to do is um, I'm actually not going to do an in-depth video of how to take all this apart. Uh, there's tons of videos on that, but little videos or information on this whole uh, TSB from Honda. Now, considering that this vehicle has 150,000 miles, I am a little skeptical if this is going to work or if this has been running for a long time like that, or maybe it's just something that has developed and just decided to resurface. So very curious to see how well this TSB serves us. But pretty much in a nutshell, you're going to remove this air intake, this cover, uh, the top of the intake manifold, uh, hoses, harnesses, and then, you know, everything they need to take off the valve cover. And then we should be able to get to what we need to go ahead and do this. Uh, make sure you have a torque wrench, some good sockets, maybe a wrench or two. And then after we retorque the rocker shaft, we'll go ahead, we'll do a valve adjustment on it since we're already here. And hopefully this should take care of the noise. So when we come back, uh, we'll be at the engine with the valve covers off. All right, so everything's taken apart, and we're actually going to start with this front cylinder head right over here. So pretty much according to the instructions, I kind of have them printed out right over here. But 
the issue is, like like I said earlier, the rocket shaft bridge has excessive clearance from the factory, which causes the rocket shaft to rotate and make noise. All right, but the sick apparently this fix is very simple. So what we got to do first is be before we do anything else, what we need to do is we need to go ahead and loosen them. So we have the loosening sequence, which is like one, two, three, four, pretty much inner from outer. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna loosen them real quick. And then after we loosen them, we'll go ahead and we'll start the process. All right, so we've loosened them all. And pretty much you just want to make sure there is no load or tension on it. I've actually spoke to a couple of people who have uh, done this job and they've actually said make sure there is no load when you do it. Some people just loosen it but you want to make sure that it's kind of free to go. So next thing that we want to do is we want to tighten it and make sure that we just have it snug and then torque it. So now the, four, the first torque spec is actually going to be 21 foot pounds. So we're going to start over here with number one. Okay. Just got that snugness started. All right. So we got that torqued. Let's do that for number two. Now it does say it's going to feel like it's stripping, so don't panic, but the whole point is, is that we want to get it 21 foot pounds. So I'm going to keep doing all these and then we'll come back for the second part of this. All right, so they're tightened down to 21 foot pounds. So I went ahead and I loosened them and now we're going to tighten them up to 18 foot pounds. After we tighten it up to 18 foot pounds, then what I'll go ahead and do is do the valve adjustment. Uh, the intake side is obviously towards the intake, exhaust towards the exhaust, and the intake specs are supposed to be between 24 millimeter, 20 to 24 millimeter, and 28 to 32 millimeter for exhaust. So we're we'll gonna go ahead. We're gonna do that. Um, put it back together, fire it up, and see if this fixes our issue. All right, that's good. So valve adjustment, and we'll do the other side. We'll see how this fires up. Job is complete, so how do we do? I'll let you be the judge. All right, so pretty much it wasn't too bad of a job. It is better and it is a lot quieter compared to before. Before it was really ticking really bad. It quieted down. I would actually say it's probably maybe a 60, 70% improvement on it. So I am happy with that. Now, considering this vehicle has 150,000 miles, it may have been abused and it may have been running like that for a prolonged period of time. There could be somewhere in damage that we don't know about. So but as far as that, it's running fine. It's not missing a beat. It has power. There's no hesitation. So what I can recommend is if you're having this issue, the way you verify it is when the engine is stone cold, pretty much turn it on. If the noise is not there, then this is probably your problem with the rocket shaft. When it warms up and this noise comes back, which this one is a lot quieter compared to before, that's the other symptom too as well. So hope this video helps. Definitely give this service bulletin a try if you're having an issue with it. Thanks for watching and we'll see what we fix next.